Hello, I'm Lynn for B&V Films, and I will be doing a critique for the film Greenberg. Greenberg is the story about a man who goes to Los Angeles to house sit for his brother. And while he's there, he decided his new goal in life is to do nothing. Many people question this ideals, but of course, he really doesn't seem to care as much. But the film stars Ben Stiller, Jennifer Jason Lee, Greta Gerwig, as well as Rice Evans. For many Ben Stiller fans, this is definitely a jump from his traditional direct comedic films. There is moments of comedy, but it's more of a dramatic role for Ben Stiller. Um, you wouldn't see anything that's immediate laugh out loud as something as in the movie Zoolander or Night at the Museum or Tropic Thunder. He sits there and he thinks about a lot of things. He thoroughly goes through everything that goes on in his head, anything that gets in front of him, and even just the simplest thing as, you know, as you see in a trailer, he discusses the ideals of the Starbucks culture and trying to make it so wonderful and how it's crap. Greenberg does know who he is, but in a way, does he? Or is it that he knows who he is, it's just there's a lot of things that he has to face that he hasn't really put any character, any one symbolic motion into to actually realizing what it is he's possibly done in his life. As the title character, Ben Stiller does do a very good job in taking the aspects of more realism and molding them into the, the character, putting them into his internal body in the fact that he's an ordinary guy. He's an ordinary guy who's maybe a little bit more neurotic than some, or maybe neurotic to the point of many, dealing with the ideas of just how life is kind of BS. You don't want you don't want to care what people think, but you kind of do. Along with Ben Stiller's performances, there's a lot of great supporting cast, like Greta Gerwig, who basically is the his love interest in the film. She is a very solid character in here because of the fact that she complements the character of Greenberg and the fact that she feels more. Greenberg's a little bit more neurotic, a little bit more rash. One who you would usually traditionally call an asshole, and she's more of the person who cares. She, in some points, she's almost that carpet that you completely step on and don't care about, which it makes you feel bad for her, which is of course the point. But she takes that role and she does start to think about things. She does start to learn a bit. She, she develops. She is there as maybe the turning point. Now, Rice E. Fans, uh, I Fans, I can't exactly pronounce his name correctly. I love his character. He plays kind of the, the low-key friend. Those people that you actually enjoy sitting around, no matter who you are. The person who will ta always talk to you, even if you're being a dumbass. <laughs> Excuse the excessive use of ass today, but if you actually go and see the film, you will realize there's a lot of pain in the ass moments that you all, you kind of stare at the main character and you're like, I, I, I'm not exactly sure if I want to like you at certain points. Um, but I en I enjoy his performance. He gave a he gave a very good created a very good character out of what he's given the role of the support of the best friend who's also dealing with so many different layers, but has somewhat pushed it down to not to be able to listen to his friend, even though you know there's those moments where he's decided, I've had enough of you, but he's still there. And Jennifer Jason Lee plays uh, actually Greenbird's ex-girlfriend from many years, which I enjoy her in there. She gives a little bit more depth into who is our main character and who was he development into why has he possibly gotten this way or you know the questions of who could he who, who could he have been if he had stayed with her and maybe developed from that point on the possible parallel spectrum but of course the funny part of that is you look at her and she also she actually 
shoots that down herself and saying, I don't think we would have gotten married. All in all, I enjoyed the film. Noah Baumbach, who's also Jennifer Jason Lee's husband, who wrote the screenplay and developed the story along with her. Um, I believe he did a very nice job. It was a great film to, that progressed very well. The, the end of this film, it gives you that kind of end of the film where you can feel it's an end or you can not feel it's an end. It's an up to an opinion type feel. So if you can go see Greenberg, I would definitely suggest seeing it. It's different. I still don't think you're going to... Some people can predict maybe this is how it's going to end. But I still feel that there's probably a lot of different ways to get to the, and to get to the ends of the means. And that's why I went to go see it. Because I know there's a lot of different layers in there that maybe you wouldn't have gotten immediately. But unfortunately, if you've also read a review by someone who maybe talks too much or who types too much, you might also get everything that you need without going to go see the film. But again, I advocate going to go see this film where it is available. It was only released over a week ago, so it should still be available in some places, but it's limited, so hopefully you're in the luck of the draw to be one of the theaters, near, to have a theater near you that actually has available. This is Lynn for B&B Films, and I hope you enjoy some great movie watching. I would definitely suggest going to go see this film. I was lucky enough to go see it at my new favorite film um, viewing place, The Ends Young. This time, instead of getting the um, the fried artichoke, I, th I think it was the artichoke fr um This time, instead of getting the artichoke fritters at The Ends Young, which I now enjoy immensely, I got their, I think they had a shrimp roll that day, which was very delicious and it was on their specials menu. And unfortunately, I did want to get the tamales that I had missed the week before, but they had changed the specials menu around. And if you actually did go to their webs to their website, they haven't changed the specials, so I might give I might let them know they hadn't changed the specials that one day. And as of right now, it still shows the specials from when I went to go see St. John of Las Vegas.